Hello, my name is Carl Surrey and this is a video for the Facebook group called Fans of Serif Software. Now this is going to be a sort of an update of a version that I did for PhotoPlus, which was looking at the clone tool. But I do want to sort of elaborate a bit more on that um, because in Serif's new photo product, which is Affinity Photo, they've included a tool which is called the in-painting brush tool. So I want to have a look at updating my original clone um, tutorial, which I did in PhotoPlus, and see whether the clone tool is still better, or is better, than the newer in-painting brush tool. Um, if you wanted to look at the original Photo Plus one, I did it back in April 2016, so it's, we're almost in April 2017, so it's now a year on. Um, so it's basically going to be the same sort of principle as that. So I'm going to start off looking at the new tool, which is the in-painting tool, which is something I've never really looked at until today. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in because like the original Photo Plus tutorial, what I want to do is to get rid of this waste bin from this picture because it's distracting from the picture which I wanted of the statue in my hometown here, walking on the Nays. And if I select the In Painting tool, um, there are various options up here which are pretty much the same as in the, the normal brush tool, you know, opacity and the hardness and things like that. But I'm going to have the hardness on about 80% and I'm going to increase the brush size and like the brush tool and even the clone tool when we look at that later you can alter the size of this by using the square brackets keys left and right to the size you want. So basically all you need to do is paint over the image you want to get rid of, wait for the program to do its thing and what this tool does is basically it find similar pixels near to where you've painted and it will replace them so it's like it's like a quick man's um, clone tool which makes the job very easy so if I zoom back out again if you know, from a distance you wouldn't know that was there so let me zoom back in again now the difficulty comes with the top half of this dustbin because if I paint across there it starts to pick pixels from the wall which I don't want I'll press Ctrl and Z to come away from that I could lower the size down and try and do this gradually but it's it is sort of struggling here so I think the limitations of the in-painting tool is it is very good for doing a subject like that where the thing you want to clone out has got a lot of sort of decent uncluttered pixels to pick from so like similarly down here like these cracks on the on the floor down here because there's plenty of pixels next to it that match what I want it's going to be less noticeable so in that sense the in-painting tool is very good because once you zoom out you, know, you wouldn't know that those cracks were there 
and you wouldn't know that the lower half of that dustbin wasn't there but it doesn't handle this area up here so well because it is much more cluttered so I will come away from this tool I will reload the picture and we'll be back in a second okay I've reloaded the image and now we're going to have a quick look at the clone tool um, basically the clone tool which is this um, icon just underneath the dodge and burn tool or you can just press S on the keyboard and click on that you have the same pretty much the same options of size opacity hardness like you have with most other brush tools and you can increase and lower the, cr lower the size with the square brackets and a very quick demonstration of what can happen is if you press the alt key the cursor will turn into this crosshair and you just keep the alt key held down and click and then all the pixels from that area will be sort of what the brush is made up of so then you can just come over and I hope you can see that following on behind the round circle of the brush is a little black cross and that is where it is selecting pixels from so if you want a new area you've got to hold down the alt key again and you can quickly get rid of things that you don't want to, to, to be shown quite easily that way obviously taking a bit more time and finesse than I am doing here might have been better if I had lowered the size there you, go. you pretty much well you get the idea of what that can be done on the sort of large area so what about when we come to this dustbin let me just get this in position right we'll leave it there let me come off the clone brush tool because what I need to do is to make a selection of this area um, you could do this with the pen tool or the polygon tool but for quickness I'm just going to use the selection brush lower the size down to get this post and then I'll come to subtract just to take away some of this area I didn't want to get selected come back to add and just lower the size down a bit more yeah I think that will do that's near enough right now the point of the selection area is it protects the pixels and the image outside of the selection area just to show you what I mean if I get the paintbrush tool and let me lower the size of this if I paint across the waste bin here it is only painting on the waste bin it is not painting on anywhere else outside of the selection area so I'll press Control and Z to get rid of the painting I've just done so I'll come to the clone tool again and for this area here I can increase the size of the brush quite big press the alt key and then just pretty much do that bottom bit all in one hit there you 
go. And if I lower the brush down and I'll pick a new area. And I'll just do this. So you can select from outside the selection area, but you can't alter anything but what is inside the selection area. So let me see if I can just grab this flower here. Let's see whether that will work. Sort of about there, maybe. Yes, because once I've uh, once I've zoomed out, you're not going to see that little bit. That was going to affect the base of that area there. So now we come to the top half of this waste bin. So let me just get it in position. Now this is where it gets a little bit trickier. And this is where in painting struggled. So what I will do here is I'm going to lower the clone brush size to about the size of this window top part of this window here press the alt key press click uh, click I should say and then I'm just going to recreate the window area So I can do a similar selection from here and just follow this pipe down to about there and then this pipe now I know there are some repetitions here but we can get rid of that in a minute because we're basically just trying to get a lot of this done without affecting the outside. I'm going to have to get rid of the selection areas in a minute to and sort of tidy it up a bit. So I'm going to select the, those plants there and then follow the top of the wall as best I can over that way. Right. It's a bit harder coming from this side, I can right, that's not too bad. Maybe I can clone from here to fill in that part of the wall so really I've only got this tidying up the areas and the bit underneath the windowsill so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select I'm going to lower the brush size down maybe select from this all up there, see how that looks mm, not brilliant, I'll remove that away maybe I should just tidy up some of this wall here let me press alt and click Control Z a couple of times when I've ruined that. Let me try it from there. It is a lot of trial and error here, so 
and now comes to the point where I think I need to get rid of the selection area so I press control and D and then I can affect the areas that were outside of the selection area previously and I can tidy them up right let's see if I can improve this windowsill area is there a windowsill at the top? Yes, there is. So if I press Alt, yes, that's not too bad. And then it's just a case of finding a decent spot to grab some of this similar colour. Just have to be aware of the, where the black cr cross is behind. If I start coming close to the downward pipe, I need to reselect the area. Alright, now we're almost there. Sorry for the how long this is taking, but and then I'll just get rid of this very obvious join that we have here from where I made the selection. I mean, this is probably where you could actually go back to using the in painting tool to help finish this sort of thing off. I mean you need that sort of selection area to make sure you don't make too many errors but the in painting tool is quite good at disguising and no I don't like that disguising where some joins are Right, so if I press control and zero, I mean, you'd be hard pressed, especially at this zoom. What, what, what is the zoom on this one? 17%, uh, so let's, let's go up to 100%. 100%, even at 100%, if you printed that out, most people would not know that something had been cloned out. So possibly it's best to have the clone tool to do the major work and then use the in painting tool just to tidy up the edges and what have you this is how I would do it myself and I, I must admit I'm not very good with the either tool but I think I made quite a good job of it and I hope you agree I hope you enjoyed watching it thank you and goodbye.